Good morning. We are still pregnant. No labor has ensued. <laughs> Today marks 40 weeks and one day. Oh, I drank some raspberry leaf tea earlier. Now I am scrubbing my shower because this just needs to get done. Um, the other day I did like four flights of stairs up and then down after dinner. It doesn't seem to be working. <laughs> so maybe we can clean this baby into labor. Good morning. We are still pregnant. No labor has ensued. <laughs> this morning I'm about to go take a cute photo with Nick in front of the mirror so that we can retake it when she's here. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a little while and I keep forgetting and like it could be my last morning to do so. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna do some ball stuff today. Not like ball sack stuff today, but stuff on my ball. <laughs> <laughs> open everything down there, you know what I mean? Um, I wore Nick's boxers last night because my legs have gotten so chunky that they're just sticking together when I sleep and it does not feel comfortable, which is why I always wear a shirt when I sleep. I don't like my arm touching like my body. I know some of you can relate. Some of you are like, bitch, that's weird. I sleep naked, but I just, I just, that's just how I wanna live my life, okay? Just got this um, BabySense HD split screen video monitor in the mail. This like booklet is so thick. It has like a, like an old school monitor so that you can like, like my intention for this was like when we're camping and the baby's sleeping, you know, and she's like possibly in the motorhome um, or whatever. Or just like, even if we're out by the pool and she's napping in here. I don't know, I'm not a mom yet, but <laughs> this just seemed like the way to go because it doesn't run on Wi-Fi. So you can have two cameras, two, vis two views, and then just carry this around with you. You can hear everything, see everything. So I'm pretty excited about this. Although I don't really think um, taking pineapple and doing a lot of this crap works for inducing labor because it hasn't worked for me. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna make a smoothie for us right now. I'm also making some hash browns. And yeah, let's get these going. I forgot to put my giant hoops on. I need to go get those, but I'm gonna just take a couple quick last probably last photos while I'm still pregnant, outside by the pool, pretend that I'm getting some sun, but I'm really not <laughs> running around cleaning stuff. Um, but yeah, I was just like, let me get a couple more photos and I still need to take my 40 week photo. I've been doing a photo every single, um, I think it's been, I've been doing it every five weeks since I've been pregnant. So we, don't, we still need to do our 40 week one. So this will maybe be the last one. Maybe there will be another one, probably not. But yeah, let's, let's go ahead and go outside and get some photos. We are, oh my gosh, it's been a while since I washed my hair. <laughs> Uh, we're headed down to the birth center right now. Uh, I didn't think we'd be having this appointment, to be honest with you. Did you? <laughs> no, I did not think so. <laughs> yeah, no, I thought we would have a baby by now. Um, so we're heading down to the birth center. They kind of just do all the normal stuff that they do. Um, blood pressure, belly massage. I think they're also gonna get us scheduled with their lady who does um, ultrasounds yeah to check like the am amniotic fluid levels and all of that kind of stuff just to make sure we don't need to like do anything drastic hopefully it's all good but yeah heading down it takes about 45 minutes to get there so we have some time i wish i put my lights up right now actually <laughs> so i think you have like a solid like 8 14 or something oh no <laughs> 
was hoping she'd be like six and a half. <laughs> I don't I think so. I don't think, like, judging just by your guys' stature, <laughs> I don't think you would have like a super itty bitty baby. baby. Not at 40 weeks, like maybe at 37 weeks, sure. Yeah. That's just 16 ounces in a pound? Yeah. I think we're like good, we're like a real solid eight. That's not horrible, it's not But fun. you're. <laughs> People do it all the time. Yes, they do. Yep. And you will do. <laughs> Really, that are driving me nuts in the ankles. That's kind of the only thing. Your feet and ankles, yes. <laughs> uh, her feet a little too. Yeah, yeah. her feet. Right? She loves to stick them out on the side over here. It's pretty funny. First center appointment went well. Now, what are we making? Oh, we're making the pizza. Hold on, I'll show you over here. What is going Hi. on? Oh, my bleeding gums. Typical pregnancy thing. Hey. I'm making some pesto. I just want to know. I'm making oh pizza. Please do not drop that. Hey! Made some white sauce, because my ass does not like tomato sauce. Mm. Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Kershaw. There's Mrs. Kershaw. Gas pedal's been hard at work all day. We've been running errands, so we just got to put them up in the air. Uh, she insisted that I show you guys the final results of the pizza pie. Woo! <laughs> Turned out pretty good. What do you think, Pipes? We can't wait to eat it. We gon' eat. Woke up this morning with way less swollen legs and feet. I used my little like compression boots that I have <laughs> that like squeeze on my legs. And I'm actually able to walk around this morning without being in pretty much horrible pain. So um, they're definitely gonna get swollen again throughout the day and probably this morning, but it's feeling really good so far. Check it out. This is the skinniest I've seen my leg look in a very long time. This is good. I'm going to make myself some raspberry leaf tea because she is still in here. My belly button is actually starting to finally poke out. I didn't think that was gonna happen. <laughs> yes, very fitting. up our Dyson right now. <laughs> um, that's what that noise is. But last night a couple times like I got up to go pee and like I could tell that she was like super super low and when I got up the gravity of her head on my like inner like my cervix I guess my vagina I've just been saying was like pretty intense and painful like I thought that my water was gonna break or something but it did not. There is a full moon um, on the 15th, what's today? The 12th, so in a few days there's a full moon. I think it's the 12th today. Um, so maybe that is the day that labor will begin. We'll see. Um, just kind of patiently waiting in this random in-between phase. I just got some blood test results back from the birth center and supposedly I am I have a very low platelet count, and they said that this is, your, blood, your platelets help your blood clot to prevent bleeding. So they want me to start a protocol tonight, so I have to run to Sprouts and get this stuff, but I'm doing a black sesame oil capsule, um, and then wheatgrass powder, and then amazing grass, um, which is like an antioxidant powder and then dandelion and nettle tinctures. One dropper of each two times a day. Um, this is like this, uh, supplement um, tincture situation that I'm on right now. It seems like a lot. I'm doing a lot of different things. It's all for the right reasons. So whatever, but I just have such a hard time remembering to take things and to do things. So 
We're gonna have to head to Sprouts in a few minutes and go get all of this stuff because it's probably not to be good to be delivering a baby um, with a low platelet count. Um, you need to be able to clot. Your blood needs to be able to clot. Also, in other news, I couldn't help myself. I had to place an order on Bath and Body Works <laughs> the other day for all of these. So we're gonna open all these and smell them. I got a bunch of flavors that I've actually never smelled before. Nick is so excited to sit down with me and smell them all. Um, they said that we can get all that stuff at Sprouts. Cool. I'm out of here, I'll go get them right now. Taking some of my little tinctures this morning that Nick just got me at Sprouts. These are from the birth center right here. This one is supposed to help with blood circulation and swelling, even though it doesn't say that on there. So I just took a whole dropper of that and I'm gonna take a whole dropper of this. And then a couple of the ones I bought are coming in from Amazon, but I also need to take this guy and then I need to go back and take all my vitamins. And again, taking some raspberry leaf tea because we are still not in labor. <laughs> I got a really generous package from Leonisa. Some of this is just women's wear, like underwear, and then some of this is like actual postpartum underwear. How you can like pull this, and then some of these are breastfeeding bras too. So super, super, super awesome. A friend of mine was actually telling me about this company, so it was really, really nice of them to send me some stuff. I think their sizing runs really small though, <laughs> because I don't think that's gonna fit me. Um, I think these are like mediums, so yeah. I feel like I'm gonna need like an extra large in their brand, possibly. But it's like so soft. I'm excited to use these and try them out. And like, just like the most generous package. Oh cool, these are more postpartum ones. These um, rip off, I can't do this with one hand, but. Um, apparently, these are the bomb.com for postpartum. Oh, little snappies down here. Okay, that could get sexual too. I'm into that, I'm into that. I'm opening some of my candles and smelling these. Like, I'm so excited about these. Um, oh, fresh cut lilacs. Mm. Smells so freaking good. Also this one. Oh, this is Paradise Cove. I like, like how it looks too, but Smells so effing good. You want a small piper? You want a candle? You like that? Yeah, she likes it too. When we were at the birth center the other day, I asked the midwife, I was like, how big do you think the baby is? And she was like, um, and she like fills around for a minute and she was like, I like eight pounds, 14 ounces. I was like, she's like, well, you and Nick like aren't small people. <laughs> Nick's like 6'1 and I'm 5'9, so I guess she's got a point there. Um, but more and more people keep guessing about her weight, the more and more I'm terrified to squeeze her out of my vagina. So, I uh, almost ripped a nail off just now opening this candle. Mmm, this next one's sun drenched lemon. Mm. Or no, sorry, sun drenched linen. Mmm, sounds to die for. <laughs> I can't wait to smell it. Mm -hmm. I can't fucking open these boxes, dude. They're gonna rip my nails off. Yeah, you can't break them down or close them either, huh? They're like idiot proof. <laughs> I definitely am allergic to breaking boxes down. That's for sure. <laughs> Mom, I think she's funny. Mom, I think Dad she's thinks funny. he's funny. This shit does a magnolia smell like us. We're about to find out. It smells like crayons. This is gonna have to go back. This one has to go back. And <clears throat> the popcorny one that I didn't tell you guys about, it's disgusting. The scent is, the scent is called like the boardwalk or something. And I just assumed the boardwalk would be like, like smell like fresh, like maybe like some sunscreen and like the ocean. No, it smells like rotten ass, like disgusting like popcorn. Yay, my camera works. I dropped this square on the floor yesterday and I was like, oh, mm, I don't know if this is gonna work. <laughs> um, this morning, there is still no baby Earthside. I am making a frittata for us. I'm about to add some spinach. Spinach and veggies help with platelet count. So that is the goal. I'm gonna add some spinach right now. And then, 
I think I'm gonna do a little bit of like curb walking um, and some ball stuff and take some of my tinctures. So I'll check in with you guys in a few. Nick was just cooking us some dinner and the power went off. So this camera is making it look a lot brighter in here than it really is because it like auto adjusts, but it's getting dark in here. <laughs> um, so I don't know what we're gonna do for dinner. Uh, we swam in the pool today, that felt really good. I just did some curb walking um, and I'm gonna do a little bit more ball right now. And I had some nettle tea, um, all my supplements and all my stuff which I need to actually do more of. I'm not finished with those. It's just a lot to take and do. So I need to actually do that, but I need some power if I'm gonna make a smoothie. Hey, Piper, come inside. Piper, where you going, big girl? <laughs> um, I can hear some of the generators in our neighborhood turn on, so it's not just us. I'm officially 41 weeks today. I am making a smoothie. I just had some of my tinctures, my cell salts. I am kind of cheating because I'm putting a little bit of ice cream that my mom left at my house in there. But we're doing the organic wheatgrass. These are supposed to help with my platelet count. I have another appointment at the birth center tomorrow. So I'm making a smoothie right now. And tonight, Tonight is actually, um, let me see if I can set you guys down. This is an awesome angle. I've really, really um, outdone myself getting ready this morning. I didn't get ready at all. <laughs> I like feel like I've just given up on everything right now. I'm just like waiting for this to happen. Um, I There is actually a full moon tonight and a lunar eclipse, so, I'm interested to see what happens. Supposedly it's a total myth, but um, I mean, apparently there is a gravitational pull with the ocean, the tides, water um, around full moons. So it could potentially lead to going into labor. We shall see. We did all the sex this morning too. Well, we just witnessed the blood moon lunar eclipse. We went to dinner. We had a little fire pit fire, watched that happen. Still no labor, still no signs of labor, still no mucus plug situation, still no contractions other than Braxton Hicks. I was laboring all day today. Yeah, yeah. Nick was laboring all day today. Um, so we're gonna head to bed. A couple people think it's gonna happen in the middle of the night. We'll see. Hopefully if it does, I can sleep through most of the <laughs> labor. That would be cool. Um, getting a little more terrified to have this all happen, but a friend of mine gave me some really good advice the other day. She was like, you just have to give in to the pain and let your body do what it's gonna do. You can't fight the pain or like, like wince at it, because then you're just not being one with the pain and it makes it worse, so. I don't really know how to do that, but we're gonna work on it. So um, I clean the sheets, we gotta put those in the bed right now, and then we're gonna go to bed.